Our neighbouring planet, Venus, has fascinated and inspired different cultures throughout history. It is named after the Roman goddess of love, beauty and fertility and can often be seen glistening as one of the brightest objects in the night sky. It is sometimes referred to as Earth's twin sister due to its similar size, composition, mass and proximity to the Sun. But this is where the similarities end, because modern observations of Venus have revealed a strange, almost hellish world that is shrouded in a dense, complicated atmosphere that is mostly made up of carbon dioxide. This blanket of thick atmosphere sits around 40 miles or 64 kilometers above the planet's surface, blocking our view of what lies beneath the cloud tops. However, since the 1960s, astronomers have used powerful radar signals from radio telescopes on Earth and satellites orbiting Venus to penetrate the clouds and map the planet resulting in images that reveal the mysterious Venusian surface. But it's not just from above that we have been able to observe our planetary neighbour, because thanks to a series of probes named Venera that were launched by the Soviet Union in the 1970s and 80s, the landscape of Venus was captured and revealed to us for the first time. Throughout the programme, 13 probes successfully reached Venus while transmitting data back to Earth. Eight landed successfully on the surface, but only four were able to return photographs, providing us with a glimpse of what is hiding beneath the thick Venusian cloud tops. The study of Venus has revealed its surface to be completely inhospitable for life as we know it. It is a hot and extremely dry place, with temperatures that rise to around 465 degrees Celsius or 870 degrees Fahrenheit. Because the planet suffers from the runaway greenhouse effect, which is caused by the planet's thick atmosphere trapping heat, it is one of the hottest places in the solar system. The atmosphere is also extremely dense. If you were able to stand on this planet, you would experience pressures of up to 92 bar, which is similar to being 3,000 feet or 914 meters underwater. The deformed Venusian landscape is mainly covered with ancient lava flows that have created flat, smooth plains. However, several large mountains and volcanoes are also scattered across this hellish surface, such as the planet's tallest mountain, Maxwell Montes, a natural structure that is 7 miles or 11 kilometers high, making it bigger than Mount Everest. Within the dense clouds above, lightning and thunder would be crackling, with sulfuric acid raining down from the upper atmosphere. But the blistering heat would prevent the droplets from ever touching the barren ground. The sun's light would be scattered by the carbon dioxide molecules that dominate the atmosphere, giving the surface and the sky a hazy yellowish tint. But at night time, it would be a starless blanket of complete darkness. The Venusian environment is so extreme that the Venera landing probes were only able to last for around two hours before being crushed and melted meaning that we still know relatively little about this mysterious hellscape. However, engineers from several nations are currently studying methods to extend the life of robotic spacecraft in these types of extreme environments. So hopefully one day, in the not so distant future, we will be able to once again observe the terrifying wonders that hide beneath the clouds of Venus. Thank you.